Hello friends, in this lecture we will continue with different type of meshing control. So I will go to geometry and import and this time I will import the part that is box.stp file and click open. Then go to edit. So here in this file we can see we have a simple cuboid box. Now we are going to do the meshing of this. So I will go to mesh, right click and generate the mesh. And by default we can see a tetra meshing has been generated. Now if we want to improve the mesh flow inside this, to do this we have option that is called refinement. So if I go to mesh, right click and then go to refinement. Now inside this refinement, we need to select a face. So let's say I select this top face, click apply and then we need to select multiple factors for refinement. So initially it is 1. So and if I click on this arrow, we can increase this value. So the maximum value is 3 and the minimum value is 1. So let's say I take this value to 2, then mesh right click generate the mesh and you can see onto the face we have selected the mesh has become denser so with this option we can create a denser mesh which are critical regions critical regions means which are fillet area or any bead or any surface onto which the stresses are higher so we can create a very fine mesh around there so that we can get a very accurate result. Similarly, I can also select, once again go to this refinement. I can select multiple faces. So let's say I select this face, hold down the control key and select this face. Click apply. I can also increase this value to 3 and let's say I will go to mesh and generate the mesh. So it is going to take some time to do the mesh and now we can see these two faces are become denser. So that is the advantage of using this tool of refinement. Now what I do, I will go to mesh, right click, clear generated data and yes. I will select this refinement, right click and delete this. Now I am going to use next option, so go to mesh right click and generate the mesh and let's say I want to select the element size this is 5 then once again I will generate the mesh now I will go to this mesh right click insert and we can see the option that is called face meshing click on this now for this face meshing we need to select a face. So let's say I select this face, click apply. Now there are some options in the advanced section. I'm not going to touch them. So let them as default. Here we need to select the mapped mesh that is yes. Now let's see what happens when I select this option. Right click and generate the mesh. And here we can see when this option is selected, we get a very good mesh flow. And that is the advantage of using this option of face meshing. We get a very good mesh flow. And it creates a good mesh flow around all the opposite faces. Similarly, I can also insert one more face meshing, mesh, right click and then select face refinement. This time I will select this face, apply and once again generate the mesh and once again we can see a very fine quality of mesh is generated so that is the advantage of using this option that is face meshing so I will select both options right click and then delete them now one more option I want to talk about that is called the layered tetra meshing. 
Now first let's understand what is mean of layer tetra meshing. First of all I will generate a basic mesh. So mesh, right click and generate the mesh. So a simple tetra mesh has been generated of element size 5. Now let's see what happens when we create a cross section of this. So I will go to this mesh and first let's rotate this to any view. Let's say click on this x axis. So now it is rotated to this x axis. Go to insert and then go to plane section. And then draw a horizontal line like this. So hold down the left click of the mouse and draw the line like this. And now rotate this geometry. So inside this body we have elements like this. Okay now I will click on this option here that is called show whole element. Click on this and we can see all the elements here. But inside this tetra meshing we can see the tetra mesh are not layered. Now if we want to generate a very layered tetra meshing we need to use one more option that is called layer tetra mesh. So I will make a uncheck on this section plane. Close this. Now I will go to mesh, right click, go to method. Inside this method, select this body, apply. Then in the method type, I will go to this layered tetrahedrons. Click on this. Now inside this tetrahedrons we need to specify a height. So let's say I want to specify height that is 2. Initially let's say take some value 2 and depending on the mesh we generate we can change this value. Now mesh right click generate the mesh. Now it is showing an error. So let's see what is the error. So click on this message and then Double click on this. A mesh control or mesh control does not have the required input. And then if I click on this association, it is showing the same input. So let's say I go to this layer tetrahedron. It is showing controlled message. So click on this. Now it is showing adaptive sizing cannot be used with layer tetra meshing. So if I go to this mesh and go to this sizing. We can see adaptive sizing is yes. So in layer tetra meshing, we need to select this as no. And then right click generate the mesh. I will click on this and then hide. So now we can see the mesh is generating. And we can see the mesh has been generated. After that once again I will click on this x axis. Click on this. So the object will rotate with the plane of x axis. Once again go to this section plane and then draw a horizontal line like this. So here we can see so pan this. Now we can see all the elements are very structured. So once again let's say I will click on this x axis once again. Okay so this time I will draw the line along with the element. So draw the line along with this element like this. And let's see the section plane. Okay make a check and check on this. Okay, so I will click on this X axis and then go to this section plane. Zoom in onto this and let's say I draw a line like this here. And now we can see onto this, let's say I zoom in here. We can see this time. So if I click on this show whole element, it is a very layered mesh. So we had specified the value of height here. So this element is, so this height is the height of element. So in this way we can create a layered tetra mesh.